man is down, got it together. Sister lady, the man has got the game. Watch him move, watch him move, get it together. It does it just like a cool, cool breeze, baby. Like a cool breeze. Smart, he's with it, and believe me, he's no fool. He's super heavy, he moves, he grooves, he's strong, oh, he moves just like a super cool dude. Cool. Departing for Los Angeles, Look like I'm in. Sorry. Almost lost my natural. unless they goofing off. Where were you last hour, Travis? Oh, just sweeping here, Uncle Tom. Just sweeping. Frisk him. Watch your hands, man. I'm ticklish. No gun, no money, no nothing. Your brother's right. Half-brother. That's right. Same nag, different jockey. Shut up, Travis. 
Search the place, Harry. You've got a warrant, officer. Look, John, don't make it hard on yourself. I've got a business here. Do you see all these people looking at you? What are they going to think, huh? You disrupted my business without a warrant. All right, Travis. Let's go down, Trent. You going to finish sweeping? Get it on. Smith, Arthur H., step forward. Age 55, no record of prior arrest. Put your hands down, Smith. I'm dangerous. Shut up. Don't rally, Lieutenant. Mr. Smith, will you put your hands down, please? Thank you, Mr. Smith. Andrews, what in the hell is he doing here? Oh, he was arrested at 8 last night, sir. Phoned in himself. Said he murdered Miss Ann. Miss Ann, Miss Ann who? Well, that's all, Lieutenant. A uh, Miss Ann said she was his main squeeze. <laughs> Next, Andrews. Step back. George William M., step forward. Put your hands down. Age 22, possession of narcotics. Occupation clerk. Picked up downtown talking to himself. Claims he's Jesus. Uh, who? Jesus. You better handle this one careful, Lieutenant. You could be another Pontius pilot. <laughs> Next, Andrews. Step back. Battle Travis A, step forward. Occupation, none. Age 27. He was with the football giant. Served in Vietnam. Honorable discharge. Released from the club due to a war injury. A regular hero, Lieutenant. 1969, arrested for loitering. No disposition. 1970, suspicion of narcotics traffic. Insufficient evidence. 1971, suspicion of armed robbery. No disposition. 1972, suspicion of assault and robbery. Acquitted. It's for damn sure he's been a lot busier than that. Andrews, come here. Yes, sir. Is this the best you can do for a lineup? Well, that's it, sir. You know what you got up there? You got two jive nuts and a lucky crook. Now, you got a coat on and get on up there. Okay, now! Yes, sir. Avery, bring in that clerk from the hotel. Yes, sir. <laughs> Lieutenant Knowles. You Mr. Uh, Davidson, right, from the Hotel Douglas? Yes, sir. Good. Look here, now, do you see the man that robbed you last night? Hmm? Ah, no, not down here, up there. I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? Yes or no? They sort of all look alike. You know what they say about us niggas. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Davidson, do I look like you? Take a good look now. No, sir. Then they lied to us, didn't they? We don't all look alike. Uh, no, sir. Uh, Captain Harper. What? The message just says he wants to see you now. Andrews! Look at that. Andrews, I want you to take Mr. Davidson here downstairs and look at all the black mug shots that we have in the building. I don't care if it takes all night, and then maybe we won't all look alike. Sit down, Knowles. All right, what is it? Sir? What the hell is going on in your division? There have been 39 auto thefts, 33 burglaries, 18 armed robberies, 7 assaults, 2 race riots, and 5 moral defenses all in the last month. Ever since more Negroes have been put on in this division, the, the muggings and the stick-ups have gone up 20%. Well, that's a lot of crap, sir. They've increased in every other division in the city, too. Well, that don't make it any better from where you stand now, does it? It seems the only safe merchants around here are the black ones who keep their places open as fronts for the bookie joints. I closed them down. But they open up again, don't they? And that's because you don't close them down hard enough. I want you to tear out the phones, break the furniture, bust them! You recognize him? You'd have to be white not to recognize him. It's Sidney Lloyd Jones. What about him? He's in San Quentin. Was, Knowles. Was. Somebody greased that fruitcake parole board, and now he's out a lot sooner than anybody thought possible. 
A lot of money was spent, and investors want interest. And I want to know the kind of interest that boy's going to pay off. Now, he's right here in L.A., and I want you to find him. I want to know every move he makes. I want to know every time he spends a dime to take a crap. Hi. Hey. Where are you going, man? Hey, what are you, the man or something? Look more like a yellow page is a nigga, right? Sure, a funny looking nigga, all right. Yeah. Hey, what you got in that bag? Come on, let me let me see. Can I trust you? Yeah, I'm sure, man. Oh, you can trust me, he can trust you me, can't he? Trust you. <laughs> you ain't going in there anyhow. <laughs> Don't try to talk, brother, you just listen. In a minute, you feel better. You get up. You go tell Mr. Finney and Sidney Law Jones who's here to see you. Don't rub them. It'll just make it worse. Some bastard fixed this race. I knew I shouldn't have taken it. Too much money on some no count nag. You find out what white bass has fixed this race, or I'm gonna have you back in the car. They could have been lucky, Stretch. Make me lucky! That's what I got you for. Jesus, love on my soul! Stretch! Hey, Stretch! Man, some super spade dude out there wants to rap with you. Man, you're in a lot of trouble for a lot of luck. Quit rubbing your balls. Who is he and what's he want? Well, to me, he looks like he could be the man, but he says his name is Sidney Lord Jones. David, send him in. I'm in. <laughs> oh, I'm busting to see you, dear God, black heaven. Man, they told me you was out. Oh, hey, man, hey, man, how you doing? And I say, Lord, show me how to commit the perfect crime. And here you is, right here in my place, the Lord. <laughs> I want to see Mercer. Hold on, Lord. Show me how to commit the perfect crime. Story and all I got going. I need fifty thousand dollars in a hole to pour three million into. Big enough so three million looks like a pimple on a broad ass. Something wrong, Mr. Finian? Holy moly! Ain't nobody ever talked to me about that kind of dough before. Fifty thousand dollars? <laughs> I don't know, man. And white boys pull that kind of shit. Shove it! Hmm. You playing yourself cheap? Brothers got to think bigger than that. No, man. Uh, Whitey's kind of job. Whitey's job? Whitey is too busy worrying when China's gonna drop the bomb. Now I'm gonna get over. Are you ready for me or not? Oh, I'm ready for you. And dear God, let him. I sure hope she gets over. Mm, dear God, make Mr. Finney and give up the booze. Oh, no, just one or two belts a day now. Oh, it's you. Flash. What do you want? Lady I'm gonna make a thing. Well, David says you gotta okay it. How much you in for? About 2300 Look, why don't you learn how to win and then come back? Look, Stretch, I need this bet to get ahead, man. Okay. Okay. Tell Davis your bet's good for 500 more, but that's it. And you better pick yourself a holy winner and start paying me back my money. And if you can't, you better go learn yourself a trade. Look, don't loud talk me like that in front of strangers. I'll kick you so hard in your ass it'll make your nose bleed. What's wrong with you, man? Loud talking my ass. I want my money. I put enough bread in this joint to buy it three times over. Haven't I always paid you? Sweet Jesus, ain't nobody said you did. There's no sweet Jesus, me. You trying to make me out like a giant deadbeat or oh, something. Oh, Travis, all I said was Look, that... I don't want no fucking favors out of you. You'll get your money tomorrow. Damn, a bitch. <laughs> hey, I let this down out my bread, and he gets up tight because I bring it up. Who is he? Oh, he's just another loser around here betting on an angel. And my book whips the shit out of him and he keeps coming back. <laughs> he's supposed to be some hip dude pushing his muscle around town. Where were we? I see Mercer. Well, I don't know. Fifty thousand dollars. Give me a couple of days. Tomorrow, early. Mercer ain't never been in anything like this before. He's got the money to invest. You just set it up. Sorry, we're closed. Lock the door. Well, what they jack you up for this time? Same old bullshit. Took me downtown and put me in a lineup. Some hotel clerk couldn't identify shit. Well, did you hit the hotel? What hotel, man? I'm walking in the man starts chasing. That's all I need with my record to get caught with a gun. Wish I did pull that job. 
Some dude got away with a whole bunch of money. Now, go for a while, Travis, or they gonna nail your ass. The pigs got on us to go for blood. You keep it up, you gonna end up with your ass in a sling. When I need something, brother, I go out and get it. And right now, I need me $2,300. Finian? Yeah. Let him sweat. It'll do him good. <laughs> that fat ass dog, he can afford to lose a few pounds. Not a weasel ass like him. All over town, he's bad mouthing me. Getting people to think I'm his bad bet. What do you care with all that losing? Might be a blessing in disguise if you can't find a book to give you credit. Look, I didn't come here. Yeah. Then here it is. You ain't getting a dime. I ain't got 23 cents to give you, and that's that. Who gave you the money to buy this place? I done paid you ten times over. Now you been nickel and diamond me to death. Brother or no brother, I ain't gonna let you take me down drowning with you. Brother or no brother, I need to free you. Hey, man, look, get out of my way. Hey, my brother, my brother. Look, man, just because my old man poked your old lady don't make you special. Now stay out of my way. you need, huh? Since we only half brothers. You give Finney and Five on what you owe him. And you keep the rest for yourself. Go on, take it before I change my mind. I'll try to get the rest of it to you tomorrow, okay? I'll go over and see Roy. Just don't mess with that dude. Yeah, some. It's once in a while. Some dudes downtown get hung up for a good drive on some of their jobs, so Roy calls me. Yeah, just be careful, huh? <laughs> Look who's talking. Hey, did you read the paper today? No. The first busted 38 massage parlors. Boy, it comes in bunch. Yeah, Oberly, she uh, works in one of them joints, don't she? That dumb broad. You always got a hand where they don't go. Time of night for. What? You call me at two o'clock in the morning because you want to borrow eighteen hundred dollars? It's going down. Man, if I had you here right now, I'd kick your ass. Diane. Hey, man, I haven't pulled a job in at least three months. I got a family to support, and if I was going to go downtown and borrow any money, I'd do it for going, myself. Going. Hey, man, I don't have to listen to that going, crap. Going. Got a bitch trying to make me feel cheap because I wouldn't go downtown and borrow eighteen hundred dollars for him to give to a loser like Travis. And you should have heard what he called me. I'm supposed to be his friend too. Come to me, lover. Mm. Mm. Oh shit. Oh, it's just not happening, Roy. Goddamn worthless thing.
Yeah, John, I'm sure I can get it for you. Yeah, I'll have it there before noon. Okay. <laughs> don't, don't talk about it, baby. Just do it. <laughs> <laughs> Jacked up for something somebody else did. Uh-huh, not you this time, huh, baby? Hmm? Come on, get away. Hey, what did I do? I mean, just what did I do? Travis! Travis. I'm for you, baby. All the cats on the street digging me, and I'm just trying to get sure, baby, to you. Sure, baby, sure. I don't like being alone. I'd be good to you. Do anything you want. Look, you and I know better. What's the matter with you, anyway? I just want to be with you. Come here. I'm hustling trying to get out of the city, and you trying to hustle to get to me. Baby, you crowding me. I got plans. I can't get it on in Mighty's Jungle. And when I get it together my way, I'm going back home. The clean air and open spaces and doing my thing. Baby. No! Anything like that. <laughs> yeah, but can I stay, huh? I'd be good to you. Yeah, I bet you could, hmm? Make you feel could. good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, don't go funning me. Just a couple of days, huh? Okay. But don't go getting no ideas. Okay? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Ow! There's diamonds. Three million bucks worth, maybe more. Von Keep's the biggest diamond broker on the coast. Woo-wee! Of course, now, you know, I ain't want to throw my cash around. And for 50 grand, I'm looking for a big hustle. I laid it all down on paper. Nothing's missed. Except my 50 Gs. Now, what do you need 50 grand for? Personnel, equipment. How many brothers? Three. A box man. With him, we pay the most. I got it. Roy Harris. Maybe he can open the safe like it was a can of beer. But it costs. And a crack driver, in case of trouble, you should get 10. And muscle. Someone not all screwed up and shooting. For the right brother, 15 grand. Shit. I get you all the dudes you want for nickels and dimes. Yeah, well, you pay for what you get. I got thousands of dudes on me. Buildings full of them. You don't like the deal, forget it. Hold on, Bill. Now, the Lord here, he ain't no ordinary dude. Now, just hold down one second. If I decide to go in, and I say if, what's in it for me? There's a group of brothers behind this. The money we make will be used to set up a black people's bank. You'll be into legitimate business, and you'll be doing something to help soul brothers for once. Say, I ain't looking to be noble. Man, I offer you the biggest deal since Columbus hustled that broad Isabella, and all you do is bullshit. All right. Just tell me one thing. Just tell me, how do you plan to dump the tape? We're talking to the biggest fences in the east. It's gonna take more than one. I'm thinking I could handle it myself. Bless my soul. You a fence, Bill? Oh, come on. Oh, but I got connection. And like the man says, it's a worthy cause. And we may as well make the best of it, right? All right, my man. And you can count me in. Oh, by the way, uh, Stretch will advance anything you need. Right, Stretch? Uh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Boy, I got deals above life set up for you. Mm -hmm. Ins is outs is broads from 9 to 90. Any color but white. <laughs> anything you want. Look, I'll take it with my eyes closed. Surprise me.
What's the matter, cheeky baby? Hmm? <laughs> Don't call me cheeky baby. <laughs> I thought you liked it. I got to go. I said I got to go. Oh, why do you have to go? Well, I don't understand. Lying here with your old lady. I got to go to work, baby. You're not like my old cheeky baby. You ain't gonna be doing nothing better than staying with me. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes, there is I can else. eat you up right here, just like a bowl of cornflakes and champagne. I think I'd be just a little too much for a little lady like you. <laughs> you haven't been, you know. I love you. TV and Eugene. Eugene, the goddamn dog. Look, man, I ain't paying you to make jokes. Now, you listen to me. I got a list I want taken care of. Tinker, I don't have to read the paper. I can feel it. Now, I got some people owing me real money. And I want it. Now, you listen to me. But no fuck-ups and no no's. My name is Mona. And you were good. That's no crap. Was it nice for you? Maybe half a bill, huh? Do you talk? What is this? You son of a bitch. Baby, I want you. I know what number to dial. I'm gonna dial me a cop. I gotta make a living. Guys like you can put a girl on welfare. You don't shut up. You ain't gonna need welfare. You're gonna need Medicare. Oh, you're so dumb. Here I am hustling you, getting nothing. And you're hustling Martha, getting nothing. Big ass Sidney Lord Jones. You've been getting it all up for Mercer, and he ain't got a dime. Dumbass. Getting homey already, huh? Your brother was here this morning, and he left this for you. Boy, this old gag fan. Hmm? Do it. It'll stop Penny and bad mouth. Oh, sure would be nice if you could save some of that. You want my head busted? I mean, if you could just start a business or something. Well, you're a regular Geraldine, ain't you? Oh, Travis. Small business is always getting hurt. My folks have a business. A turkey farm in Texas. A regular outdoor sweatshop. Working 12, 14 hours a day, watching gobblers. And then Thanksgiving time comes, and some happiness man comes along and gives him a few pennies and a redneck snow job. Forget it. I don't want no business. Well, 
What are you supposed to do? What suits me? I got talent. I could have been somebody, too. And I'll get it together. Once I get out of this city, go back home to Texas, maybe a small town with some funky high school or junior college, a football team that wants a pro coach. All I need is some bread to get me started and smack some cat to give me a job. And I want to go with you. Baby, I have to make a hit to get it together. My skin's thick. I can't feel a thing. You hurt too easy. Being with you, Travis, I'm starting to get harder all the time. The devil's really getting his come up on the day you being here. <laughs> How you feel? <laughs> Got a little nookie last night, didn't you? How was it? A year and a half don't change how it goes in and out. She damn well talked a lot. How solid is Mercer? Are you kidding me? Mercer's got God on his side, as far as I'm concerned. As far as I'm concerned, I got my ass and three million dollars on the line. Is Mercer for real or not? Driving you. The bill owns over half the real estate in Watts. Yeah. And he's in the hustles. The cops ain't even thought of yet. I got a piece last night that said different. You let the Holy Church go back to being Jewish, if I'm wrong. Now you're gonna believe me or some no count bitch. I'd like to thank the choir for that inspiring hymn. Yeah. My friends, brothers and sisters, something good is going to happen to you. But I'm here today to assure you of God's word, of our Lord himself, that he does care. He loves you. He's near you. You can actually reach out and touch him. And I personally, I want to see something done in your lives today. Yeah. The wisdom of the ages makes plain the moral and ethical principles from which there is no redress. Retribution never fails. I got your money for you, Turkey. This ain't the time. I'll catch you later. And squeezes. I ain't having you put my business in the street no more. God, it's so wrong. Yeah. No, I ain't some dog you can jump up and down on, you know. My God, this is the Lord's house. Take it easy. Hang loose. I wasn't muscling you. Please. Now, you allowed talking here in front of strangers. What? Huh? Exploitation. I made a mistake. I'm sorry. Immorality. I made a mistake. Liquor! Freeze, freeze. Man. Lead yourself to prayer. Because prayer moves the hand that moves the world, that brings salvation down. It's all there, Mr. Finney. Anytime. No time at all. Choose the time. Make a chair in the corner. Your meeting place with God. Amen. Amen. Make it your meeting place. Mercer in. Tell him take us here. Well, now we having so much fun. You can see him later. 
later. Bill, you haven't finished the game yet. I deserve some of your time. Emma, I'll be back in a minute. Get rid of that mother and bring your ass back up here. Emma, we can talk in here, ma'am. All right, man, lay it on me. How much you touch? Not a nickel, no one. And a goddamn one of them come through. Think I got to have the cash, man. Look, man, maybe one or two of them will come through, but I doubt it. I roughed them up, but they know I ain't gonna waste them. Look like you're gonna have to sue. Sue? <laughs> sue myself into Sing Sing. What's the matter, baby? Having trouble with that new broad of yours at the beach? Shut up, Tinker. Huh, cheeky baby? I said shut up. Don't shut me up. I ain't one of your ass kissing flunkies. All right, man, I'm sorry. Just don't hassle me. Tinker, man, I'm busted. Flat, busted, broke. What about this place? <clears throat> Mortgage up the ass. Some whitey's conned me into shuffling the last of my dough into some busted oil wells. I'm a party to lawsuits, leaning on every nickel and dime them tenement buildings ever made. Look, man, I don't want to hear it. You want to hear it? Because I got a way out. Lord come here yesterday. Oh, man, you really gone and flipped. Sidney Lord Jones. That dude came to me yesterday and tried to hustle me. He's in Quentin. Not anymore, he ain't. Now, he came to the beach house with a hot diddly play in his pocket. Who gets hit? Von Keep. Three million in diamonds. Okay, okay. I'm all ears. What's he want? Only 50 grand. You cheeky, baby. You ain't got 50 grand. Well, Tinkerbell, what if I was to tell you I know how to come away with the whole three million? Now, I told him I'd fence the stuff myself. No waiting, cash on delivery. But when he delivers, I tell him I need one or two more days to get the dough. Now, the stuff's hot, right? Now, I get him to leave it with me. And with his rep, they'll damn sure be looking for him. And certainly not here. And not with me. And I could split with it. Another name, another place. And three million in diamonds. You funny time, old man. You just coming in your pants, ain't you? What a crook. All I need is 50 grand. If I show you how to get it, what's in it for me? Third? Uh -uh. Half. Okay. Okay. You just tell me how to raise it. Simple. People do you favors. Like who? Finian. He's always sucking up to you. He'll sweat, but he'll do it. It'll make him feel real big. Oh, sweet Jesus. You know, Tinkerbell, I think you might be right. Generous gift you gave, Stretch. Fantastic sermon, Roy. <laughs> you know Lord Jones here? Got a job for you. Sorry, Stretch, I'm not into it. I need a tool, man, Reverend. It ain't going on Sunday, so it shouldn't conflict. You get your money up front, 25 grand. It's a sure thing. Are you sure you don't want in? What boxes have you opened? Cannonball, tie bowl, double door, name it. Can you bust a die bowl with a time lock and a relocking device? What do you use, lock or seam? We go to the moon nowadays. I can open things that don't have openings. What is that? A CO2 laser. I sort of found it sitting in a government building doing nothing. It can cut through five inches of steel, two feet of concrete, and any man that is fool enough to stand in the way of it. What you said, praise the Lord. <laughs> okay, who else? Oh, we're shopping now. The only driver I know is John Battle. Finny him knows him. Hey, Amen. He's good. All right, he's in. Now, we need some muscle. Uh, who's good with the piece? There's Rayner. Remember, you pumped him in the balls. We don't have time for losers. How about this, um, Travis? Oh, my God. Of all the dudes in this city, what, what do you want with that fart buster? Hey, he's tough, and he's good with a piece. John Battle goes, Travis goes. They're brothers. I don't like him. That's good enough for me. He's in. Uh, I don't think a light color is good, Lieutenant. I kind of dig it myself, Freddie. What don't you like about it? Well, even if it's big, it ain't gonna hide that bulge like the dark ones do. Anybody ever tell you you're funny? Let me try the blue one on. Finian! Over here. Oh, Lieutenant! <laughs> how are you? Fine, fine, <laughs> fine. Okay. Man, how much you got? Uh, 
wouldn't expect mutual in the next week. Yeah, well, the fact of the matter is, I had something to tell you. I got a rage you. Oh. Bust the place a little. Book you, even. Book me? Oh. Good God almighty, man. I thought you was my friend. Well, today I ain't got no friends. Look, Stretch, they're pushing me downtown, so I gotta push you a little. <sighs> gotta look good, don't I? Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Why me? Finian, Finian, Finian! Everybody knows who the biggest hustling book in town is, and it ain't the Pacific Telephone! Hmm? This look okay? Hmm? This ain't the best holy mother time to run me downtown. This size too big. Okay, let me try to round my arm. Look, man, you know I always cooperated. Finian, I'm gonna let you slide. But I want you to close the joint up tight. You hear me? I'll tell you when to open up. Oh, thanks a lot, Lieutenant. <laughs> Thanks a lot. How about this? Hmm? Oh, that's oh, that's a whole lot better. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's the fuzz doing in him? How'd you know? Well, he uh, walks like a duck, smells like a pig. Oh, just in here to see Big Daddy. That's all. Mm. Nothing's the matter. <laughs> He recognized me. Uh, don't you go where anybody knows. He's my inside man. Everything is keyed to go at midnight tomorrow. The manhole's near the corner. The soft spot's here, through the old steam tunnel. The wall blocks it off on this end. You bust through, you move in, you take over. Roy, you're the artist. You draw the circles in the right places, huh? Yeah? 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 And uh, look out for the alarm system, yeah. Travis, you ain't no trouble. So you see to it that we don't have any. John, you're driving and waiting here. Any questions? Everything sounds cool, man. Yeah, but what about the bread? It's up front, remember? Pay the brothers, Finian? What you sweating so far? Money makes me sweat. Emma, how many times have I told you about that? Where are you going? It's a business trip. Be gone one or two days. Criminal. Uh, Emma, what are you talking about? Your crimes. Your, your crimes of passion, you criminal. That young girl and you with that shrunken up thing of yours. Emma. Don't Emma me. You want to drive me to suicide? You put me here. You put me here. You want to drive me to suicide? Emma, you tried suicide already, but you botched it up. Remember? Hmm. You, you like titties? Huh? You a titty man. You want to see some titties? Emma. I told you this was a business trip. What's the matter? You afraid I ain't coming back? Go to hell. That black bitch, she'll be shoving them down your goddamn throat. I found letters. And I found pictures. And I found hairs. And you haven't had a black... Emma! Now, this is very important to me. Please! You haven't had a black hair since the last time you got it out! <laughs> Just remember, 
open the door for your friends. They're collecting fares. Come on, let's get it going. Now listen, George Berry, I want you acting human. I don't want anybody killed, brushed away, maybe, but not bombed. Gee, I hope I'm in the right place. I told you, you no trouble at all. You see to it, we don't have any. Watch the back door. shooting targets in Atlantic City. Hey, man, I gotta focus at first. You ain't gonna see the beam anyway. I'll check it. Hmm, I wonder if I can get my name engraved on this. Sounds a little rusty to me. Travis, who do you think you are? Sidney Portier? That camera up there ain't making no screen test. <laughs> Wearing a mask don't mean it's Halloween. No trick or treating. Come on, move your ass out of there. I'm coming, all right? I'm coming.
watching the back door, aren't you? Hey, man, run a cop. <laughs> Travis, Travis, it's okay. Come on, let's get out of here. Come on. I can feel it going up. I'll get you to a doctor. No, no, man, take me home. Refunds. You don't have to read tomorrow's paper to find out what's in it. What's in it is here. Mm -hmm. I am sure we are going to do much better than we so should. Sure, sure, man. But let's see the color of your caps. You know something, you boys did one hell of a job. One hell of a job. Of course, you understand it. Yesterday was Sunday. Mm. And today is Monday. Now cut the shit. Well, uh, I haven't got the money quite yet. You haven't got it. I mean, I haven't got it now. Well, I will get it. Now, Wednesday morning, maybe tomorrow. Of course, now, you boys have to understand that people sticking their necks up with a million bucks in cash ain't ready to part with it too easy. Then we did move a little too quick. We moved on you. Oh, wait a minute, man. I'm Bill Mercer. Now, you know I'm good for it. Give me, a, give me a few more days. A few more days. The cops ain't gonna be bopping around waiting for a few more days. They want me for us. No, no, no. Now, you gotta remain flexible. You gotta be flexible. You trust me. But if you don't... You want me to leave the stuff with you? Well, I mean, there's nobody knocking my door, man. Fuck off! Man, and I shouldn't have let the clan have them to decorate their cross and then leave them with you. Hold it, Mr. Taker, here. Take what are you doing? Shut up, Bill! Talk ain't getting us nowhere. Now, toss that over here. You're a bad man, Mercer. And you, get your hands up. Get them up! Nervous, Travis? A little bit. Don't be nervous and alone if you don't toss that over here. Now, toss that over here! Somebody. Please, I'm sorry, man. I'm broke. I ain't got credit in a dime store. Oh, man, please. 
Give me a break. Lord, let me give him the cure. You're on him back. Take it easy. Don't get your bowels in an uproar now. Mr. Mercer here has messed things up. Mr. Mercer is going to straighten things out. Now, I can't do nothing. Oh, sure. Sure you can. <laughs> See, we are the sticker. And the insurance company is stuck. So you, you're going to go to the insurance company. <laughs> insurance company? Sure. This heist is sending back quite a few bucks. So we're just going to offer them their beads back for a measly 25% of what they're worth. Huh? They might buy it. Hmm? No questions asked. Yeah, I, I guess I could try. I, <laughs> you ain't got no choice. I mean, after all, you and Tinker were partners. Hmm? You could be lying there with me. Still partners. Marcia! Damn it, where is that woman? Marcia! Get your ass up. Marcia! Marcia! Well, let me lay him down now before you start in on me. No. Damn it. Oh. Ain't nobody laying you out, your boy. Why can't we take him to a hospital? Call an ambulance, do something. Benny and sending for a doc. Now, if we take him to the hospital, they'll use him for spare parts. You always been trouble. Blame me? Shit. My fault. It was a fight. To I don't fight. You know me. <laughs> Listen to that. <laughs> yeah. Must be a fire or something. John, John. I pray to God that doctor gets here quick. You ever see such hard flap? Ain't I deserving to have something go right? It all go wrong. Sweet mother of God, why did it all go wrong? Shut up. You want to complain? Go put your head in the toilet. Travis, you want Finney to call you a doctor? You worry me, getting white all the time like that. Just give me a drink. That'll hurry my tank. Pour Travis a drink, Finney, and don't worry. Christ will save you. Yeah, well, who's going to save me the 50 grand I'm out? Jesus Christ, why get caught up in these messes? Maybe that's the Lord calling you, huh, Fanny? Yeah, probably collect. Hello. Yeah. It's John. Yeah. He wants to talk to you, Travis. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I'm OK. Well, who the hell do you want to talk to, man? Well, all right. Lord is for you. Lord here. Hey, looks like box springs and stained sheets tonight, man. My business is here. Stay loose. Well, cops are starting to twist on, busting the folks where it don't show. They're looking for anybody and everybody. John, they just got. <laughs> Charge. You know what happened to me. Hey, I'm you. You want to listen to me. Hey, you better listen. I mean, what you going to do about this? Get your ass off my paper. I ain't moving until you take down my complaint. Look, I want to see the captain. Hey, look, man, we're calling you. Going and ruffling me out of my bed, embarrassing me in front of my... Man, what are you going to do about my boss? Man, would you feed your face and we'll call you when we're ready? You know, I ain't like one of them hustlers, you know, got someone every hour. I'm particular. Hey, you! Hey, me! Hey, you! You, 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 you call it! I'll be with you in a minute. Hey, hey listen, now you the captain there. I I'll say cool. No, wait for my butt. Get your ass in there and shut up. Vivian, the sooner you settle it down and answer a few questions, the sooner you can get it out in the streets again. 
Now, all I want to know from you is, you've seen this man. All I ever see is the ceiling, baby. Are you sure you haven't seen this man? You got a picture of him from his waist down? No, I ain't never seen him. Now, you through? Now, the only reason I'm being generous to you and letting your ass sit on my desk is I might want to use your services someday. Over my dead body. I might like it that way. Now, out. Out! Hey, we bought up the wrong figure, Kenny. Now, this job has got his name written all over. Holy shit. Always eat. You ever seen this man at any time in the last 10 days? No, nope, I don't think I've ever seen him before. You don't think? Well, take a good look. Did you or didn't you? No. No what? No, I don't think I've ever seen him before. Boys, you got to understand. I've got a name in the community. And that's why these men came to me with this offer. And another thing I want you to understand. I don't be fooling around with no stolen goods. I'm sure, but what makes you think it's a legitimate offer? Well, judging from the way they sounded on the telephone, based on my own experience, I'd definitely say that the offer was real. But you see, it's up to you fellas. Well, what am I supposed to tell them when they call back? I'm not excited about it, Ray. We're making it easy for them. There's always a possibility the police department will come up with something. Maybe they'll take less than 25%. <laughs> I think they'd just soon flush it down the toilet and haggle with you. On principle, I'm against it. Oh, no. Three million dollars is a lot of money to lose on some measly principle. And besides, you all know you can buy a principle pretty cheap nowadays. Thank you, Mr. Mercer. This isn't something we can decide for ourselves. We'll have to consult others in the firm. Well, I can appreciate and understand your position. Oh, by the way, just consider me like, well, the Lone Ranger and this kind of deal, Kimo Sabe. <laughs> you may be a sharp-ass businessman, but you sure ain't no pool shark, honey. Well, Emma, if you play fair and have your feet on the floor, I'd win. Funny man, funny man. There's a couple of cops out here to see you, Mr. Mercer. Well, if the flat feet ain't got no warrant, throw them out. You into anything, Bill? Barry, right, tell them I'll be right there. Oh, but honey, we were having so much fun. You can see him later. Mr. Mercer? Yeah? I'm Lieutenant Holster. This is Officer Matt. Oh, what's your problem, boys? You know a Tinker James? Yeah. When was the last time you saw him? Oh, yesterday sometime. Yesterday? Yesterday afternoon. Is he in some kind of trouble? Not anymore, he isn't. We fished his body out of the ocean this morning. Jesus. Well, I didn't even know he could swim. Well, not pump through like the civvy can't. We uh, found this on his body. Oh, what is it? It's a list of names on your business stationery. <clears throat> know any of them? Oh, just a bunch of deadbeats. Tinker was collecting some debts for me. That's all. Was he using muscle? Well, that's not my business. Maybe he was. I ain't got nothing to do with it. I see. What'd you say you saw him last? I told you. Yesterday afternoon. Uh, well, the coroner puts his death at uh, one or two this morning, after the Von Keep job. We well, figure there might be some connection. One of the guys was shot. There was uh, blood on the floor. Maybe it was Tinker's. Maybe he died in the getaway car, and they tossed his body in the ocean. Lieutenant, Tinker was nickels and dimes. But if you ask me, I think it was some heavy white dudes that got into Von Keep's. One more thing, Mr. Mercer. Just for the record, uh, could you tell us where you were last night? I could, but I'd rather not. <laughs> I'd rather you would. Well, uh, I'm nearly 60, but I'm living much younger than that. You understand? Go on. Well, uh, I was out with a young lady last night. Uh-huh. Well, her name is Log Williams. Uh-huh. And she lives at the beach. Now, I got there about 11.30. And I stayed a little longer than I planned. Uh, you understand, don't you? Yes, sir, we understand. Thank you, sir. No, 
Maybe tomorrow. Now, listen to me very carefully, baby. You might get a knock from the police. Now, quiet down. Now, quiet down. No, I ain't no kind of trouble. But if they ask you about last night, you tell them that I spent most of the night with you. What? There is. Oh, well, it's uh, just some sauce on the rug. Now, you clean it up real good, huh? Hey, Travis, big dad, huh? <laughs> your driver's license? You know you went through a stop sign back there? Yes, sir. Jones sure gets around. Look, I am a citizen. Now, why can't I see the captain? Man, you still here. I am responsible for a $42,000 conveyance. Now, you wouldn't understand about that, huh? Look, man, you can't have people going around stealing 42 grand. That's what them buses cost. And I am responsible. That's what this is all about. I mean, knocking me in my head. Stealing my bus. Oh, okay. Now you just go sit in there, but I'll take the report. happened to me at home. Excuse me, honey. I gotta go get some more oil. Shh, if I start that, just listen. Get rid of them and I'll be in the shower. But I've been scared for you to... Just get rid of them. Can't be dumb luck. Tackle a rental car for the dumb shell dumpster deacon. Geronimo and Tinker smash it into squad cars. And... Oh, Travis, baby. I've been so worried about you. Cops been running down everybody. Oh, Travis, you hear? I get it. We need to hide here, huh? They went, cops been asking everybody about him. I want him back. Forget him. 
can we stay here till tomorrow night? What is wrong with you, Travis? What you got against staying alive? I can't stand pain if you give me one in the ass. Can we stay here, yes or no? Yeah, Travis. We close tomorrow. All right. All right, what happened? Well, she confirmed what Mercer said. That he was with her from 11.30 to 3. Yeah, did you believe her? I don't know. Mercer doesn't have enough stamina to stay with that broad more than a half an hour. I didn't send you over there to determine Mercer's virility. Was she telling you the truth? I guess so. If he wasn't with her, he's crazy. Jeez, an old nigger like that. You know, I can tolerate a little masturbation. I can even tolerate a little sodomy. Let him come aboard with a cow. But an old man like that with a nice, pretty young girl, that's too much. It's too much like incest. You know, she could be his daughter, for all I know. Sam, I got a guy out here I think you ought to listen to. About what? The Von Keep business. All right. All right, bring him in. Yeah, Holster, that's all. I'll see you later. Yeah. Oh, and Holster, you watch out for that, that pervert. Sit down. All right, what do you got to tell us? No, now everybody wants to listen, huh? I mean, I've been sitting in this tomb for eight goddamn hours waiting for heirs to listen. Okay. Now, I'm Charles Wainwright Washington. I mean, Charles Washington Wainwright. You see, I told you I was in this place too long. Now, I'm a bus driver, see? My number is 6362RTD. Now, Charlie, I... tell them about the men on the bus. All right, what did they look like? Oh, buddy, look, I'm tied up, lying in the back of the bus. I mean, they got me scrunched up against the wall, bare ass. All right, all right. Tell them what you heard, Charlie. The point is, I am a city employee. I've got responsibility. Now, look, they didn't take nothing, but they used up some little gas. They made a little dent on the left side. I mean, that bus cost $42,000. I mean, that's city property. That's city money. You know, you ought to do something about those guys and find them and put them away. They is regular nuts. Just tell the captain what you heard, Charlie. Now you want to know what they say, huh? Nothing. Then I hear one of them say, don't call me the Lord, call me Dicky Baby. Nuts. Regular nuts. They use the bus for a getaway. What else? What other names did you hear? Uh, there was a Wallace. Then there was a, a Georgie Baby. Then they mention a guy named Finian. Finian. Finian, Finian, Finian. That's the name of the book over nose division. Right, sir. Hello. Hello, no. Hello. Connection. Hello, nose. Nose, call me back. This connection's lousy. Right. Hello. Hello, get me somebody to run down everybody's first and last name. Sounds like Wallace, Dickie, Georgie. Right away. Yeah. Hello, Knowles. Knowles, listen, you lean on your boy, Finian, and you find out what he knows about Sidney Lord Jones and this Von Keep business, you hear me? Right away. And listen, baby, you better not come back empty-handed or you'll be sweeping that station out for the rest of your life. Yeah, you just got a positive idea on Lord Jones in his Broadway area. You got Travis Battle with him. Battle back to one of the squad cars and busted it up pretty good. Oh, 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 oh. All hell is busted loose all around us! Hey, listen, surround that area. The whole thing. Only quiet. Real quiet tonight. None of you in a fancy siren. Hey, well, what about me, huh? You? You! Get out of here. Get him out of here. Well, what about my kid? Oh, 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 oh. I mean, baby, are we hot? We are so hot. Listen, I tell you, we crack this one. Maybe we get a promotion. If Yordi can be mayor, who knows? Travis, I don't know nothing about this. You better get a doctor. We ain't slept all night. Just pack me up, Tim. Here. Here's a grand. Go get me a car. Okay. <coughs> well, we're the last of the home team spooks. Huh? I'm saying much. There ain't a hole left in this town big enough to hide. Yeah, well, we'll get out. L.A. is too big a town to wrap up. Yeah, I'm going to be headed to Chicago. You want to come along? L.A., Chicago, Detroit is just another place to die. I'm going where Whitey ain't paved all the roads yet. Listen, man, I, uh, I hate to ask you, you know, I haven't given you a soft deal. 
but I need some dough. I only got a couple of hundred left. Sure. Say two grand. Yeah. You can take a piece of glitters, hmm? Yeah, say something like this. Hmm? Thought it'd be worth a hundred. Keep the box. Oh, go on, take it. Sit on it for a couple of years. It'll cool off. That ain't my kind of hustle. Me trying to peddle him is just asking for trouble. <laughs> Still thinking like a poor boy, huh? All right, man. I'll send you to death. Where you gonna be? Get it. Well, you know better, I hope, than to stay in this town. Being black ain't no protection against uh, bullets. <laughs> Remember, Coach, you will win until you get caught. Yeah, get in. Well, where to? Drive me north up the coast to San Luis Obispo. Hey, that's a lot of miles. This ain't no joke. I got a television show to do up there. You know, I thought I recognized you. Freeway is faster. Take the coast highway. Oh, you just like waves, huh? You ain't gonna see no sailor in the dock. I like the dock. I've got plenty of time. Finian! I swear to God I had nothing to do with that Von Keith thing. And you know I'm a religious man. Oh, Finian, 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 Finian! Sucker, you got about as much religion in you as a dollar can buy. Finian, why don't you tell me about it? Sure, you saw Lord Jones here. I didn't see anybody here. I didn't see nothing. That being the case, what's to connect me with Von Keith? Simple. Captain knows something about you. And I'm down here to find out more. Finian, Finian, do you think I get jollies by tearing this place up like this, huh? Don't believe. He's just coming here to buy a suit, that's all. Hell, you wear our clothes too, don't you, man? Well, he's a stylish dude too. <laughs> and I always been fair with you. I'm your friend, don't you? Mm -hmm. I don't remember nothing. Now, Finian. Finian! Finian, why don't you do yourself a favor? I'll make a deal with you. You turn states. Tell me all about it. And what I'll do is, I I'll make sure. I'll make absolutely sure that you won't get more than a year. Two at the most. Hmm? Jesus Christ, that hurts! Give me a chance, will you? But tell him you couldn't find me. Yeah, that's it. I, I'm out of town. Hey, hey, you're here! Now, Finian, the captain's out for blood. Hmm? And you know damn well it ain't gonna be mine! Jesus! Don't punish me! I always treated you right, Ada! Ada! You better watch out, Finian. I bet you would rat on me, would you? That's right. God knows I don't want to, but I'll tell. I'll tell. I'll tell about all the juice you've been getting out of me. I wish you hadn't said that, Finian, because now you have pissed me off. Oh, you Jesus, you crazy! What's wrong? What, you, you want to float us both up six feet? Sucker! I can go get a big one. Now look, I have done a free wheeling cop huh? up until now. But now I am going to be a good cop. Because if I let you go, I'd be a bad cop. Oh. Oh. You just aren't happy unless you make me work on it. Come here. Look. I'm sorry. I'm your friend. No, come on. I'm sorry. I'm not. Don't make me run. God damn, kill me. Don't make me run.
up here with me. Where's Ray Harris? He's in there. Hey, what's the problem here? He's wanted for robbery. That can't be. Reverend Harris is dead. How'd he die? He had an illness. What was he taken by? He got shot. Von Keep robbery. No, street fight. His thing was breaking up street fights. Street fight, huh? Yes. The bishop's coming tomorrow to read the eulogy. It's in the papers. The mayor's coming. Even the police commissioner will be here to honor him. The police commissioner. Doctor, right away. Oh, have a seat, please, and fill out this form. An accident. My husband has had an accident, and he's fainted, and he's in the car, and he's bleeding. You ought to go to a hospital. Doctor Fields is a gynecologist. Ma hold it, Ma you can't. He's got a patient. Is this still all right? Now, what is this? My husband had an accident. He's hurt. And he's bleeding and he's fainted. He's in the car. Excuse me, please. I'm sorry. Let me see what this is all about. He's lost a lot of blood. Hold this. Hold it. Thank you. Uh, I've got to get some more bandages. Now hold that bottle up high. Sheriff, this is Dr. Fields. Fields! Some colored woman has just brought her husband into my office. He's got a bad wound. Looks like a gunshot. Hang up! Help! Come on, get him up. I want him in the car. He's lost a lot of blood. He should be in a hospital. Well, you should have been calling the hospital when you was calling the damn cops. Hey, you! Get that bottle. The deck's ramp. Come on. Now help him. Come on, help him. So this treatment and all your troubles disappear. Mm. Mm. Ten minutes and your fingers will be just like another erogenous sound. <laughs> Does that mean that we'll be making love in a half hour? <laughs> oh, cheeky, honey. You're so oversexed. <laughs> Look, your fingers have scoop spots on them. No. <laughs> Who could that be? It's late already. 
Wait, wait, wait. Uh, do you love me? Of course, silly. I wouldn't be massaging your fingers if I didn't. Why do you love me? Damn it. Because you're nice and do favors. Late, boys. Never too late for business. Can we come in? Uh, no. Yeah. All right. Hands on the table. Feet apart. What the hell is this? You're under arrest. You have the right to remain silent, Mercer. Anything you say may be taken down and used against you as evidence. Look, I've heard that on television before. Inside. All right, now what the hell is this all about? You're charged with complicity in robbery and murder. Madden, find the girl. Oh, and come on. Let me tell you something, Lieutenant. My lawyer's a fanatic about suing for false arrest. If you think you're going to make those charges stick, you better get yourself a good, crooked judge and a rigged jury. How about a nice, honest confession? Your friend Finian uh, had a lot to say. Here. Why don't you read it? Hey, come on out of there. Come on out of there. I'm not going to tell you again. Lieutenant, she's got herself locked in there. What am I supposed to do? Just get her out of there. Uh, should I use a gas bomb in there, Lieutenant? I hope it don't kill her. Ah! Oh, we ain't got nothing. <laughs> oh, come on. Man. It's all right. It's all right, man. It's all right. It's all right, baby. <laughs> oh, Finney sure knows how to make things read mighty religious, don't he? Cheeky, baby. What kind of trouble we in? Jail trouble. Mercer wasn't with you that Monday night, was he? Tell me the truth, baby. Go ahead. No. He tell you what to say? No, not all of it. I made up some of it myself. Officer Madden here is going to take a new statement. You better be sure you give him the whole truth this time. Another few minutes and your fingers would have felt real good, cheeky baby. I know, baby. I know. <laughs> Oh, Lieutenant, do you mind if I go up to my study to call my wife? I mean, I ain't going no place up. Yeah, go ahead. thing to do, he probably wouldn't have gotten more than two or three years. Please don't tell my wife about the empty gun. She laughed. Let me go grand. Silly, I'll get you, 
I'll give you the cue, okay, Miguel? From Delmont Junior College, Miss Debbie Dixon. Your roller skates, baby. That's it, okay, come on. From Santa Paula, Miss Odetta Shaftesbury. Uh, Odetta Shaftesbury. That right, dear? Okay, come on. Hold it, sister. Why is this bump, bump, bump? We ain't doing no strip here. And you ain't Tina Turner, neither. Hmm. Now, girls, look, you and I know different. But as far as tonight's audience got to know, you as virgin as my ass is black. Dig it? Now, shake it a little less and squeeze it together a little more. We expect to capture their leader and recover the stolen jewels momentarily. Get that up to PR and uh, tell them to fix up a bit. Mention my name. About time this department got some good publicity. Lieutenant Knowles is here to see you, sir. Yeah, well, send him in. Oh. God damn it, Lois, what am I going to do with you? The commissioner wants a black officer in the business, and you get it. Then you go into business with a Jesus freak bookmaker. Oh, she's an old. I tell you, you got me over the barrel in a whole new way. Oh, you got it all wrong, Captain. Oh, I got you dead to rights, Knowles. Finian fingered you. Oh, you've been had, Captain. Finian's a confessed criminal. His testimony don't mean a damn thing. <laughs> and you're a crook, Knowles. And I'm going to get the grand jury to indict you. Well, you really think so? Uh-huh. Well, after all, I did uh, break the Von Keep case. And I am the token black officer in the division. Mm. All that looks kind of good on paper. Of course, now, a lot of credit goes to you, too. Because, like, I was telling them on television this morning and at the press conference. You were on television? Oh, didn't you? Yes, sir. And you mentioned my name? I really did. I told them all about you. <laughs> we're almost home. Sidney Lord wouldn't let me downstairs unless I took his little present. <laughs> he was funny. I think I should have taken it. Baby, we're going to be rich and live forever. <laughs> Girls, you move around the winner, OK? Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Black Venture County. Stop it, hold it, take it back. Told you a dozen times. We got a celebrity here. Going to present a prize. Going to have hundreds of people looking at you. So let's not screw it up, huh? OK, girls, back in your places. I'll give you the cue, OK, Miguel? <laughs> Hey, hey, all of the man. Hey, <laughs> you recognize me, huh? <laughs> oh, man. You saw me on the tube last night, right? <laughs> you know they're getting to be more and more brothers on TV nowadays? Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm becoming so well known. I almost had my clothes torn off me the other week doing the PA. I could have used you, fellas. <laughs> hey, I might be able to use you tonight. Yeah. <laughs> there are going to be some unhappy mamas out there when I choose the winner tonight. <laughs> you give this to the, uh, to the doorman. He's the cheapest bribe I know, you know. He'll get you good seats. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. And um, after the show, come by, see? And I will introduce you to one 
hell of a girl. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, wave, wave to Shirley out there. Hey, Shirley! Hey, Shirley! Hey, Shirley! Hey, Shirley. Hey, Shirley. Hey, Shirley. Hey. Hey. Yeah, yeah, listen, fella, fellas, fellas, yeah. I, I got to go now. Huh? Yeah, I got to go. Okay. But come by tonight after the show. Okay, after the show. Sure, after the yeah, show. Sure, hey, okay. keep on boogie. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, right. <laughs> hey, Shirley. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 